Now there are two choices as a developer. As a developer, you get a lot of choices. Let's talk about the two uh, which most of you get. Uh, one is let's let's say a scenario of working in a startup with five LPA or in an MNC with eight LPA, which is better, which has a better future, which has a better present, and things like that. Okay, you know you need to understand one thing over here is what you know. It solely depends on on the one which you resonates with. I'll tell you the pros and cons and what things look like in both the areas, uh, and then you know you can decide how you want to perceive your future, how you want to pursue. Sorry, not perceive, but yeah, pursue your future. First one is let's say you are working in a startup with five LPA. Of course, the package is a little low, but your growth would be much higher. Your growth would be much better in a startup. because startup is like a rocket okay when a rocket is launching if you if you have a seat in that rocket you know you you don't know you can go to the moon but yeah there are cases uh, and in most of the cases if you bet on the rocket there can be that uh, there can be a scenario where rocket just bursts you, you you there can be a tragic situation in that case now but if everything goes correct if you are if your bet is correct if you are going if if you have see it's it's all about risk risk hai to ishq hai if you if you are you have to take that risk okay if you get a seat in that rocket and by seat i mean if you if you are employed at a at let's say 5 lp and then you have esops and rsc and like all of these things stock options uh the thing is that you know when you are building when you are developing something in a startup you get to have better skills in in you know let's say a span of 2 years you'll see that you are you have become a complete new human a lot of my friends have you know gone through this process that's why i'm able to you know say that pretty much confidently and i have seen this for almost all of these startups out there uh, i'm talking about not i'm not talking about you know startups who which are like um, which which don't even have raised anything i'm talking about startups which have actually raised some some round of funding let it be pre seed seed or uh, you know any any round of funding but yeah of course not the unicorn ones but yes uh, the ones which are actually less than 20 50 employees okay uh normally people don't go for you know less than 10 employees uh that's sort of their notion but that's a very wrong thing uh if you get in if you let's say if you get a uh, if you get stocks in a company which has less than 10 employees and uh, has already taken a pre seed or or a seed round uh just just th- just think of uh, your future just think how you know you would be able to do in future but okay okay let's 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 not go into that area Uh, let's come to the second option, which is working in MN in an MNC with eight LPA. Now, now over here, what would happen would be you won't get that much sort of skills, but yes, there would be work life balance, there would be stability in your life, and then of course, you know, uh, you'll have a better life in a sense that you have come from work. Of course, you have to do some stuff uh, after the work hours, the working hours as well. But yes, it won't be much. It won't be much of an issue. Uh, you you get a better. work life balance but again uh, in your 20s when you are you know just starting out work life balance i don't think it's it should be a priority but yes if it is for you then it's fine you can go for all of those mncs and you know uh, companies like uh, that you'll get a good package you'll get a good uh, salary but growth would be a little less you'll start with a good number but eventually you know uh, the one who started with uh, 5 lpa the one who started with 8 lpa if everything goes smooth if everything goes well if everything goes as planned and if you are hard working in a in a startup and if you are hard working like in both the areas you have to be hard working the growth would be eventually be higher because let's say uh for a very uh, for a for a very small startup you have some sort of stock options they'll eventually you know grow the event the, the price of that will eventually become so large uh, after 2 years or 3 years after they take a b c rounds you know if if company grows uh, to that level to a unicorn or something like that then you can have a better life then you can have a better lifestyle at that point of stage where you have to you know settle down okay Yeah. If this solves your query, then please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell icon, and comment down your query. Okay. Thank you.